Good morning everybody, what is up and welcome to this daily vlog. I haven't filmed in such a long time. Hold on, let's need to zoom up. I almost forgot how to vlog. Currently the 21st of May. 20 past 8 in the morning. It's my day off. And it's actually a really nice day today. So I want to clean the whole entire house. Curia driver gonna watch me film. <laughs> eh. Filming like right directly outside a window because it's like such beautiful lighting. Which just makes me so happy. I'm just rambling at this point. I'm in my dressing robe. Yeah, I've lit the candle. It's time for some background music or YouTube to do my cleaning. I think I want to listen to music, but at the same time, I really need to keep up to date with all my YouTube videos. And while I figure that out, I'm going to do some befores of what like each room looks like and then afters. I should have chosen music. Now 8.40 and I've just been sitting here watching YouTube. I'm about to head out to go to my bank appointment, so thought I would show you my outfit of the day. So I'm just wearing these new tights that I got. I actually got them from the Salvation Army. I'm not really too sure if I like them. I'm not really too keen on them, but I don't want to change. Crop jersey from Maru. Let's go. So I'm back now and immediately got changed into sweats because those tights were actually making me feel very uncomfortable. So it's currently like quarter to 11 now. So it took about 45 minutes to have that appointment. Now it's time to really get some hustle done. Obviously I will show you the befores and the afters um, of all of the cleaning, but um, I need to put the dishes away and do a couple of other stuff. Obviously Caleb's work boots will go in there. I've just put all of like the more shoes that I use or want to use in the shoe rack. Up above my, this is our happy play with our key hook. She's literally my favorite thing in the world. Like this is my favorite photo in the world. And I need to put all of this stuff away and get those bedrooms sorted. The kitchen is probably the worst part. I've been lazy and I haven't cleaned. But yeah, it's literally just dishes, which are already rinsed. They just need to be washed and dried and put away, which is not honestly a big deal. And the dining area, which is literally the easiest thing to clean, because all I need to do is just take this stuff off, wipe it and put it back on and find a place for this to go and probably just pop this back on. So the kitchen is fully clean. So I've done all the dishes. My sister's wedding bouquet, she dried it for me as a housewarming gift. So I've just put it there for now. Normally on the table, not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep it there, but for now, it's nice and tidy. So this is what the dining room looks like. So I've just put my candle there, which smells amazing. I've got my fruit bowl and I've got my little New Zealand coasters. And I think like simplicity just looks nice. So this is just like a massive mess. Obviously, this is like my cubes that are now going in my office. Protectors and stuff. So that will eventually all go today. Um, and then obviously, I just need to like tidy up. This, we got a new thing for the cats, so the rubbish is just everywhere. Then when you come over to the lounge, this is the preview. So I just have Lucky's little um, chair there. I'm not sure if that will be kept there. Then we've got the couches, obviously, Cuddly's bed. And over here, this is obviously the TV, etc. So that's clean and then that is clean and i have put their new thing i don't even know what it's called cat scratcher pole play pen thingamabobby over here so this is the spare room it's not messy in here i do want to try and rearrange it i just want to maybe bring the bed over here and there is like a little sun shower going out, out on outside convince caleb to put my paris picture on the wall and i'm eventually going to get a big round mirror to go up there so this is now the spare bedroom let's just pretend that wasn't there so i've moved it here now i'm not too sure how long i'll be keeping that for um just because it is like still a, a quite tight area but it is a spare bedroom so i'm sure it will be fine i think i might put 
the print up there but I still want the mirror so I might have it on this wall I'm going with like the black and white theme as usual and I made sure that you're still able to open them full access this room is just like a, a write-off but it's only like <laughs> shoes and clothes like the shoes were all in my washing basket but I needed it for washing we're gonna sort this problem out so I just picked up these gray um storage cubes they look like that they're super cute I got three of the eight cubes they're super cheap they're $39 each um and I'm gonna have them along this wall so this is the office obviously I've still got like prints and stuff that need to go up on the wall that will be done eventually um so if we pan over I've just got this added it was from the spare bedroom but because of the way that it's laid out can't have it there as of yet um but if it's the color scheme in here so and obviously we are going to be building those tonight. It will look more like an office, I hope. Again, nothing too major in this room. It's literally just clothes and like a few things that I just need to tidy up. Bed is made, but I will be redoing the bed. Before I change the bed, I just wanted to show you what I've got. So I picked up this cotton filled um, mattress protector. Then just two plain black pillowcase covers and a just a fitted sheet, but we got the king. And then we got some cotton quilted pillow protector um i got two of these just to go over our pillows we got all of these from kmart we got a electric blanket um gifted to us by caleb's dad for for like a housewoman gift got that in the wardrobe and i will also put that on the bed but i'm yet to do that all right so we have got the new bedding on I'm literally so obsessed with how it turned out the black on the white looks great with my panda there i know he's a polar bear but my whole life i've called him a panda fresh floor obviously it needs to still be vacuum honestly i'm just so happy that it's clean and i'm officially done other than vacuuming i I'm hungry. It is 20 to 1 in the Arvo. I have not had any food today. All of the rooms are complete. Um, I just really hope that tonight we can build some of those um, cubes and I can get my office just a little bit better. I've got leftover salad that I will probably end up using. It's a constant cleaning with having your own house and that's what I've learned. <laughs> okay, so I ended up doing the washing and cleaning the laundry um, before I'm eating. So it's now currently quarter past one and we're going to make our salad. I just want to show you all of the like salad stuff that I've got. So I've got an avocado, I've got some feta, some chunky beetroot, some parmesan, some ham pieces, garlic and feta croutons, some cucumber and some capsicum. And I have some leftover salad that has got lettuce, carrot, cheese, and Caleb put pineapple in there as well last night. I'm gonna have all of this and have a real nice healthy salad and I'm so excited for it. And I'm gonna try and make a smoothie. So excited and I can't wait to watch friends and eat my delicious meal. <laughs> Mama, it's Christmas, so you know what I mean, I tell her I got these presents and they under the tree, I tell her It's fine, I'ma get my call Pretty bad bitches on my phone Mama, it's Christmas, so you know what I mean, I tell her I got these presents and they under the tree, I tell her It's fine, I'ma get my call Pretty bad bitches on my phone Yeah, they on my phone Pretty bad bitches on my phone Yeah, they on my phone Show you how remarkable this looks and how huge this is look at my big ass salad oh my gosh so it's got like literally everything obviously i showed you in it i'm so excited to eat this what the heck here's my final lunch i was just cleaning up but i have a mint fruit and banana smoothie um tastes all right i'll drink it and then obviously this big mama salad and i'm gonna sit and enjoy some friends 